little uh, change in scenery here. Put up this new overlay here today. I know uh, some people were complaining they couldn't see it. Oh, there we go. You know what? As much as I can't stand this company sometimes, sometimes some sounds are just so iconic. So yeah, this weekend we got the uh, the WWE, WWE Royal Rumble. It to me it's it can be good or bad. The fact that it could be a, a complete uh, how do I put this politely? Completely unpredictable in a good or a bad way. Match options. Change participants. All right, let's let's go through here and let's see if we could get everybody that isn't in I don't think we're going to be able to do it here but everybody who isn't in WWE or is a free agent right now or isn't another company let's put it this way if they're in a different company we got to try and sub them out let's let's put it that way so if if they aren't in a different company they have to uh they are able to participate so let's try First one right off the bat, Ty Dillinger. No, you, uh, how do we get you out of here? All right, so who do we have available? <laughs> Whole lot of Nova, oh my God, this is gonna be fun. Okay, AJ Styles in there. Santino's a free agent. Jinder's in the company. He's a free agent. Brock Lesnar is in the company. Heat's an impact. All right, so... Acom's a free agent. I guess technically we can go with him there. Bray Wyatt's a free agent, so he can actually be in here. Dawkins... Dane's a free agent. Apollo's there. Gold Dust is not. Mm. Wolf. Let's see who else we can get in here instead. Arya Davari? Nah, let's... Oh, we got Bobby. Kira Tozawa is still there. Bo Dallas, free agent. Dave Mastiff. I, that was one of my picks I put in there. Grand Metalik's a free agent. Gagano is. Gable Ritter. Okay, Hideo Itami's not. We got to get rid of him. See who else we
And of course, those are purchasable. Everybody with a little flag on there is purchasable. So, yeah, great. I'm going to spend money on this game. No, thanks. Oh, the Miz has got to get in here somehow. Where else we got? Cena might show up. Apollo, Lashley, Dolph, R-Truth. Let's take Gargano out because... You know what? Let's leave Gargano in because there might be a chance he might show up. Grand Metalik won't show up. Let's get down here to... Matt Hardy, Mojo Raleigh. No. You know what? Just out of spite, let's get him in there. Mustafa Ali. And we're not having you in here either, Velveteen. And Mr. McMahon's purchasable. No, thank you. You know what? Let's get Big D Otis in here. And actually, let's see here. I don't mind Santino being a... But I want Montez in there for sure. Because you know he's going to be in there, right? All right, I think we got it. I think this one's going to be... Uh, this one here might not actually happen just for the fact that... I think... Oh, I'll bring this up here in a second here. Custom match rules. It's a Royal Rumble. Nobody cares. Sure, we'll put the entrances on. And I'm not going to be anybody in particular, so... Let's go. Alright, as we load this up here... I'll, I'll admit, I'm probably going to watch it at home. I'm not... Beercade is showing it. Um, it's actually going to be interesting to see how many people actually get there because RCW is running the same time. They got their own rumble going on here. If you're not familiar with RCW, they're the local promotion here in uh, Alberta that's been running pretty much throughout the pandemic. And as always, you're going to get the... Uh, yeah, we were... This is the hand we were dealt. This is the one we're supposed to do. Blah, blah, blah. Your money's on Kane? The guy in the... All right, in terms of this rumble here, I'm going to go with Walter just for the fact that he's going to chop the living shh out of everybody. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. Who's your pick now, for the Royal Rumble this Sunday, though? He will always be Walter to me. Gunther was the dumbest idea that I've seen in a very long time. I get why they did it. The way they tried to justify it was completely asinine and stupid. But what are you gonna? What are you gonna do? Re realist realistically, they. They should have said, you know what? Oh my god, we got Akira Tozawa as number one. That is not going to happen on Sunday or Saturday. You're not going to get this kind of pop here uh, out of getting Akira as the number one. Unless he's coming out with the 24-7 title. The promo was fine if he wasn't Walter in WWE for three years. Exactly! He's saying, I want to make a legacy of my own. You already did. You're a champion for two years. Like, seriously. Smart like dump truck, I think, is the best way to put that promo. Wow. Sorry, I'm a little fired up over it. I believe hot trash is the way that... And that's the thing about NXT 2.0. There, there, there are reports now that Vince isn't happy with... If that was his debut promo, absolutely. Right off the bat, if that's going to happen, so be it.
Okay. Oh, Dave Mastiff is number two. If you guys aren't familiar about who uh, Dave Mastiff is, he's on WWE UK right now. NXT UK. A huge powerhouse that on honestly I think could fit in rather well in a Royal Rumble if you need a big guy, right? Truth three, I have been following the product to make a pick, so I'm picking completely blind. I don't even know who's all in it. Wouldn't be surprised if Goldberg wins it. I guess I'll say Rollins and Belair. Okay. Yeah, I was... All right. Adam, I'll give you a pass because I know... Let's face it. Nobody watches right now. I'm doing a little bit of a deep dive in my picks here for the Rumble. We're... Um, so right now we're getting... For title matches, we're getting... Uh, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins for the uh, World he WWE Universal Championship, which I personally think Rollins is going to get it. Thanks to interference from Brock Lesnar. And that's simply because we're also getting Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship, the Raw version, which I think the Usos and Reigns are going to cost him that championship as well. So coming out of this, both Reigns and Lesnar are not going to have their championships. My honest to goodness pick for the Men's Royal Rumble just came into the ring at number three here. AJ Styles. I think you set up AJ versus uh, Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins at Mania. To me, that would be a hell of a matchup. And then for the women, I think, unfortunately, be, uh oh. Crowder, your picks in the ring early. This is not a good sign for you, sir. Looks like Mass is about ready to bring him out already. Your perennial pick has an actual chance of winning this year, Big E. To be honest, if it isn't going to be Styles, I think it will be Big E. Because I think. The winners of the Rumble, I, I think the two main title matches for the men are going to be Langston versus uh, Big E. Or sorry, not Langston versus Big E, duh. Lashley versus Big E on the Raw side. And that triple threat I just mentioned on SmackDown side. I think you're going to get the lesnar Reign match at Mania, but I don't think there's going to be a title on the line. I think it's just going to be about superiority and how these guys screwed each other over. That match is too big that they don't need a championship. If WWE decides that they want to amalgamate their championships, then I can see it going a different way. But if we get to the point where Reigns and Lesnar both enter the Rumble, I think they're going to eliminate each other. Because I could see totally both those guys losing their championships and then beating somebody else up to just get into the match. So. I do have to say the graphics in this game aren't bad. That's why I didn't want to use 2K20 because everything's pretty much ass there, right? Oh, and here comes Gargano. One of my surprise, surprise choices for Sunday. So, Adam, are you turning into Bobby Heenan where we're going to mention names every five minutes and you're just going to switch your pick the whole time? <laughs> just kidding, my friend, of course. It was one of my favorite things about uh, the Royal Rumble with uh, Jerry Lawler and Bobby Heenan. The fact that they would change their pick every five minutes on commentary. Oh, we got some, we got some ring clearing out here. Gargano's out, Mastiff's out. Jinder's in there right now. Power slam. What does AJ Styles have to do? 
AJ is going to last going to have to last a while to do this Like I'm, it's gonna be interesting to see how the mix, the mixed tag that they come up with at the Rumble between. Uh, that's exactly what you're doing. <laughs> Hot take: WWE finally sends Veer and he wins the Rumble. I think you get half of that. I think Veer shows up, and he'll be one of those spots, you know, where the ring clears out, and then all of a sudden. They get that one appearance at the top of the top of the ramp. Veer's coming! Veer's coming! For some reason, I see Jerry Lawler saying that, or Pat McAfee. Shout out to Pat McAfee, by the way. In terms of play-by-play -play guys, he's a clean version of Jerry Lawler. And the fact that you know he makes more money than he makes more money in one week than. WWE could probably afford to pay him in three years. Oh, and here comes the de facto pick. Oh, Kane is eliminated! Crowder! Crowder! Oh my god! There it is. Oh, and Styles looking to eliminate the Miz here. Want to keep doing Veer nets until the draft and draft Veer to SmackDown, then run three months of Veer coming to SmackDown vignettes? I am more than willing to go with that too, sir. It's funny because WWE is aware of the trope that's coming up with it now. There goes Riddle to the outside. They're trying to eliminate him. Same thing with Big E here. You know what? Shout out to Otis just coming in here right now. The fact that they've uh, changed his uh, changed his gimmick all the way around and it's been working. And now they're starting to creak back a little bit back on uh, dumb, dumb Otis days, especially with this academic challenge that they did this week. The best was the Zen Veer tweet from Fox a couple weeks back. Yeah, absolutely. The fact you pissed off every single person on the AEW bandwagon with the Zen Veer tweet was amazing. It's like you just step out and just... Bring the heat. Bring the heat. There is no way in hell that Jinder is taken out. Oh my God, Reigns is out. <laughs> Otis is awesome. I'm 1,000% behind Alpha Academy once I learned how Otis and Gable were tight in real life. Absolutely. Like, it's nice to see when you have... Oh, the Miz is out. Oh, they've been clearing out the ring pretty good here. Mustafa Ali, the guy that doesn't want to be there. I'd love to see them let Mustafa win the Raw Rumble just for the fact that he asked for his release. And now, oh, I'm going for the championship? I don't want this. I want out. That'll, that'll really put a lot of uh, positivity on your company, right? So I will admit, guys, I tried to uh, load up a lot of custom uh, custom templates, but unfortunately, the download limit is 20 per day from the uh, custom creation store. So that's how we get a few of these guys in here that, that we have. Like Bobby Lashley getting in here is a custom, and a lot of the newer wrestlers are custom in here, but... You'll see a lot more in the women's match once we uh, get that sorted out. Because there's a lot of wrestlers we got to get rid of in that one. 
Oh, Biggie eliminated, and here comes Cena. I, res I respect how respect Ali has been since his release request. It would have been really easy for him to just spill the tea on WWE Creative on Twitter, yeah. You know what? He put his request out there. But I... <laughs> I love the fact that she announces the elimination before he actually gets eliminated. Mustafa eliminated Otis for the press slam. Hell no. Seen as your pick now? All right. I'm, I'm sorry. One of my favorite matches ever was SummerSlam 2014. Cena and Lesnar. It actually proved that Cena was human for one night. The fact that Lesnar absolutely destroyed him. Cesaro at 16. This might be a good pick. The, the funny thing is, he's labeled as a light heavyweight in here, so... I don't know, personally, like... I really hope that they start doing WWE starts doing a little bit more with their mid card titles because I really don't remember the last time that Shinsuke actually defended the championship against a credible contender. Like I know Sami Zayn's guaranteed a title shot. I hope he wins it and actually starts doing something with it. And speaking of mid card champions. Here comes Damian Priest. Known as Punishment Martina. Oh, Jesus. And yeah, I guess Punishment or Dante is about, uh, I believe he's like 6'8 or something. He, he's a tall dude. All right, what do we got for 18 here? Come, oh, Lesnar just beat the crap out of him. I love this. You've forgotten that Nakamura was IC champ exactly. What the hell was that? You throw putt Martinez over the top rope and German him back in? What the? Oh, the glitches. Oh, it's funny. Yeah, Nakamura hasn't done anything with that championship. Granted, he has had an injury for the last little bit here. Because I, I do believe he's been working through a hand injury right now. Oh, and here comes the demon. Oh, Dawkins is out. I'm really upset about how uh, WWE basically nerfed the demon gimmick with a top rope. I, I don't know what better way to put it. If you guys are familiar... Uh, Balor had a match with Reigns on a pay-per-view and they ended it with uh, Mysterious Smoke and the top turnbuckle being unlodged from the edge. Oh, and here we go. LA Knight. Another NXT call-up. I got a feeling Knight's going to be in the Raw Rumble. He's known as Eli Drake here because that's what his name was in Impact. Don't forget Finn flopping like a beach salmon. Yeah. The fact that he sold it as much as he did. Like, to me, I, I don't know. Like, they could have done so much with that demon gimmick. Well, hell, they haven't been able to get a demon gimmick straight for years now. Jimmy's out. Cesaro's leaning over the top. Lesnar's out. Cesaro's out. Demon's out. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my God, Dante's out. All right, Walter, start chopping the shit out of people. Let's go. All right, so Cesaro's your new pick. Cesaro's out too. Gunther. I hope they gave him Andre the Giant's gimmick here. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, Gunther. Okay. Yep. Oh, uh, Baron wouldn't have opened his mouth. Another one that you didn't know about. Like, Baron Corbin was the former Money in the Bank call holder. He had to give it up after he made some controversial... Oh, no. Don't you dare throw Walter out. And yes, I'm calling him Walter. I don't care. Reversal DDT there. Uh, Corbin made some controversial comments against a, a DJ or something, I do believe. Oh, it was about military service. And they made a job out his uh, his Money in the Bank championship to, to Jinder Mahal. It was part of the Don't Hinder Jinder campaign. Shout out to Big Bad Boris with that one there. Yeah, it was a Marine or something, yeah. So Apollo Crews is out. We're getting close to the end here. Cruz going for his triple power bomb. Yep. Oh, this is what I forgot to put switch out, but that's okay. Oh no, Drew Gulak's still on the roster. I, I forgot about that. I'm pretty sure he's still part of the roster. I don't know, those 24-7 guys are all over the place. Nice. Oh, they actually call it Frankenstein here. Oh, main event mainstay. Okay. Montez get a late number. It's actually pretty awesome here. Montez is one of those guys that if they gave him a singles run, he might actually go places. Like Angelo, don't get me wrong. Dawkins is a, is a good base to work with, but... The charisma of uh, of Montez here, like him and his wife are absolutely bang on about working together here. If you're not familiar, he is the uh, husband of Bianca Belair. So Lashley with the late number. Oh, Montez going to replace Biggie on when are they going to pull the trigger on him? Takes He's so new on the roster, though. That's the other thing, though. That's the weird thing about it. the hell did they do to the face of Lashley? I know that's a creative character, but... Well, Montez is out. Oh, Walter got eliminated. God damn, my pick's gone. Lashley will win it. I don't know. Dolph's got the lucky number 27. I... I believe it's 23 has the number one spot of um, the position way the championship. Ironically enough, I think number two is second to there. No, 27, then two. That's what it is. As Lashley in the corner is being impaled by a rope. Wow, these graphics. I hope 22 is a lot better than this. I, from what I've heard, it is. I've actually watched a few of the a few of the, the testers that actually got to go in and check out some of their videos and some of the community for 2K22. Yeah, Adam, I was actually going to send you some videos, but I know that you got enough stuff on your plate. But uh, one of the guys, Brandon Collins, he, he, se he sent out a review video as well as a few things about uh, what's going on there. I feel that this game will actually produce quite well. There's still, it's still gonna be a few things that are dog shit, but I, it's one, one of those cases that it can only go up from here kind of thing. We're getting near the end here. Interesting Royal Rumble stat. If you factor in all career for a Rumble winners, it's why you won the average winning entry number is 19.09. .09. 
or 19.575, making the most likely number to win number 19 or 20. Yeah. All right. That that's actually, and it makes sense though. It it would be in the last half of the rumble, right? So being the most common winner being number 23. Oh, sorry guys. Since we're simming this every 10 minutes, it goes into powers, quick power save mode here. So just got to make sure I have my controller. It's actually funny. Uh, talk about controllers. I got to go back to uh, GameStop, who, by the way, have been absolutely spectacular to me here. My last few purchases, I picked up a used um, Xbox controller. I, I put it up on Instagram. You guys saw it with the uh, red and black cues similar to my table and whatnot. Yeah, the audio jack doesn't work, so I got to... Gotta go exchange it for another one. This one I have now is uh, golden black. It's the second one I picked up. Sort of a pewter type uh, color. It actually looks really good in uh, regular lights, so. 24 is the most successful number with four. 23 is second with, okay. So 24 must, yeah. That's where you get your adjusted number here. Cautiously optimistic about WWE 2K. Yeah. Um, I think that either they have to really improve it or it really has to shit the bed so they can finally break this contract up. And I don't think they want to cyberpunk this. Because if they cyberpunk this, this... You're way wrong. I thought 23 was the most popular one, personally. I love that... I love the fact checker just going crazy in the back. Oh, Lashley's out. Elias might win this. We haven't seen Elias in forever. Our truth at number 30. Please come out with a ladder. Please come out with a ladder right now. I don't know if you guys remember that one year where he came out with a, uh, with a ladder during the, uh, the Royal Rumble because he thought it was uh, he got he got that gimmick of my bad all the time. Nice job getting out of trouble there. Talk about a great escape. So we got Chad Gable, Drew Gulak, Elias, L.A. Knight, and our truth. For what? Could we see this on Saturday? That's the funny part. Can we see this on Saturday? 27 has four, a whole bunch have three, and 23 has two? Okay. Oh my God, we're down to three. LA Knight, Elias, and Chad Gable. I am not against this. I've been saying this whole time that R-Truth would win this thing. He's a beast, absolutely. Until he doesn't. Here's our stare down, guys. Damn, remember Elias? Yeah. He killed his gimmick and now... <laughs> Adam, you will have more of a chance in the women's rumble, okay? We are going to sim a women's rumble after this as well, so... I would love to see Elias get... Come back in just randomly and all this... Oh, Gable, you idiot. Elias, you're a dubber idiot. Push him. Oh, dummies. Dummies all around. Dummies. I will say this. I bought a... Or no, I didn't buy anything, but I, I downloaded a bunch of the women's wrestlers because... Well, let's just face it. There's been a ton more turnover in the women's division than there were in the men's, so... Tried to go for the discus punch and Gable blocked it. Into a head. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Are we gonna get LA Knight to win this rumble? That that's the thing I'm wondering.
could you just imagine could you imagine the entire thing of wrestlemania being changed because la knight and the oh. wow nice teamwork until it wasn't gable's out could we get elias elias out of nowhere drift away by elias All right, well, I was going to say, there is no way they're going to get Elias to win. Or, uh, are we seriously going to get Eli Drake to win? Oh, my God. Trying to shove Elias out. I don't think he's going to go. Could it be? One on one. Oh, now we got that pause spot here. Okay, out of boy. I do love when they focus, set up the set up the reset like that, right? Yeah, that 92 Rumble, that was absolutely flipping amazing. And the fact that Ric Flair won it, thanks to... Oh, my God. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. This looks like it could be it. There it is. Elias from out of nowhere is winning the Rumble this Saturday. Let's take another look at these guys in action. Who knew? Let's call that a victory. Elias is going to WrestleMania. Here is your winner, Elias. Could you see Elias versus Bobby Lashley? To me, that would be a hell of a match. Now, is Elias pointing at the WrestleMania side or the please don't try us at home in the background? Oh, I guess it is WrestleMania. Let's take a look at these highlights here. Nice German suplex. The drift away by Elias. The elimination by Eli Drake. And the show off. All right, let's get back to the main menu here. So hell, that's that's gonna be a hell of a choice here. All right, let's set up our next one here. Got to remember how I changed it over to women. I think I got to get completely out of it and then. Trying to remember how I did this for last time here. Crowder, you got any idea? 
It would be nice, but they need a whole hell of a lot of rehab for Elias to have that to happen. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now I got it. All right, let's get into this here. I did add a bunch of women here that, like, a, through a lot of our customs here. All right, let's get Becky Lynch in here, of course. Asuka, one of the favorites, I think. Mickey James absolutely is going to be in there. Lana, I'm going to take out because. Well, frankly, I don't think there's a chance in hell that Lana's going to show up. Paige is my secret pick that I think is going to be the surprise of the night for everybody. Let's get Carmella in there. Nikki Bella, Mandy Rose. Ronda Rousey is probably going to win it, if you ask me. Kari Sane's no longer in the Fed, and she won't want to be in there, so. Yeah, let's put the 24-7 champion in there. Amber Moon won't be in. You can buy Lita, or you can have Liv Morgan. All right, Anthony Damien. Uh, I'll give you one shot. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Feel free to make an announcement. Uh, just remember, I do have mod uh, abilities to block. So go ahead. <laughs> and DBS pod. Yeah, I think uh, Rousey's winning it, to be honest with you. What's your...
appreciate it. Um, I'll, I'll uh, see if I can pop in there after I'm done the stream here tonight. So let's do her to her. We're just talking up the Royal Rumble with who he thinks going to win and who's uh, involved and whatnot. Here's a question for you guys. The ch your first tur tournament's April 14th. Okay, cool. Um, I'll have to check my calendar here. Thank you for uh, bringing it up here, my friend. I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, once again, like I said, sorry about... Uh, when, when somebody comes in to my stream right off the bat and their first ever chat is, uh, can I make an announcement? I've had a few too many people come in and say something to the afford of a in there so i do have to be a little bit um a little bit concerned concerned once in a while that's all so yeah the, the, for the women's matches at uh, the royal rumble it's going to be interesting how how things work out here we got Becky Lynch taking on Dewdrop in the uh, for the Raw Women's Championship. Speaking of Becky, I I had the option to put the man in here, but uh, let's go with what's it what's in the game here originally. Plus the fact I love this love this theme as well. I, uh, honestly, I think Dewdrop's going to find a way to get herself over here, um, big time. This might be that, uh, Kurt Angle, Chris Benoit 2003 moment for Dewdrop. If they actually give some time to it, right? Because Dewdrop's been, well, she's been a bit of a joke going into this until, and I think they're honestly going to put her as a credible threat by the time this match is done. I don't know, Crowder, maybe you can correct me here, but there's no match for, uh, oh, Mandy Rose at number two, the current NXT Women's Champion. Interesting. But, uh, right now they don't have any plans for Charlotte Flair, it seems. And I don't know, like, People were talking about this heat with Charlotte and whatnot. The only original matches I'm really looking forward to at the Rumble this Sunday is Brock Lesnar versus Lashley and Roman versus Seth and then the 30 men. You know what? I, I, we talked about them earlier. I, I honestly think the way that WWE has been booking here, I think we're going to get the lazy champ from other side costs, uh, champ, Champ's going to cost Champ the title somehow on both sides. Like the Usos are going to cost Lesnar the championship to Lashley. And then uh, Lesnar's going to cost Reigns the title to Rollins. It's lazy booking, but it's WWE booking. That's the thing. Like I know we talked about it earlier. My prediction for the Rumbles are AJ for the men's. And I guess we can talk about it right now. Um, Ronda Rousey's been uh, rumored to be returning at the Rumble. If she's there, she's winning it. She's taking on Charlotte. What other way can I put it here? I, I think that's the only person you can put in here that would actually be able to be credible on a SmackDown side for Charlotte. So, could you, could you imagine Becky being eliminated? Oh my God. Could you imagine Becky being eliminated first in the Ro Royal Rumble? It is champion versus champion, but still. And Zelina's in third, or fourth, sorry. I don't know. For me, it, it's pretty simple. It's going to be Rousey that wins this, and uh, you'll get Belair to win the uh, 
the elimination chamber in uh, Saudi which they won't call the elimination chamber because it is in Saudi Cause, uh, yeah, because the biggest feud you got right now on SmackDown for women involves Sonya Deville and uh, Naomi right now. It doesn't have anything to do with the champion, and I don't see anybody coming up as a credible champion to uh, Charlotte, right? They've gutted that roster so horribly right now. Like to be to be perfectly honest, I I would like to see some of the NXT call-ups take on uh, Charlotte right now, like Kaylee Ray for an example. It's nice to see Maurice back on Raw though. Looks like she hasn't missed a beat through the entire thing. I hate the fact that they're using a brick for a trope on it, so. Nice, here we go. All right, well, thank you for, uh, thank you for popping in. I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm going to be in tomorrow afternoon playing a little Streets of Rage 4 in the afternoon. So, um, yeah, this was just a wrap up to our uh, talk show here for our sidecast watching AEW Dynamite and talk about the rumble this weekend and you know all about getting things up but great seeing you uh, great talking to you thank you for the follow once again and uh, we'll chat at you later i love i love hearing how cole's so excited every time there's gonna be a new person out every three seconds here like realistically before i heard that uh Rousey was going to show up. I think it would have been a slam dunk that Bianca was going to be the uh, the winner of the Rumble, right? Wow. So Nikki's out. Nikki was in and out fast that you could shake a stick at her there. I do like the fact that they've left they, they have announced a bunch of the people that are going to be involved but I, I seriously think they're going to have some people in there that you're not going to that are going to get them that pop that they need right because they, they still haven't announced 10 people on there and they don't have enough people on their own roster to cover it so whether they bring up NXT stars or uh whether they bring in special special guests she comes up big with a reversal you know byron's point about the elite list of past winners is spot on think about the hundreds who have i really hope shayna gets a good showing here in the rumble shayna realistically could be the the cane of the women's royal rumble if they just give her a chance here right now she's one of those people that just is used to dominating in different areas right so well and there goes lynch she's been in since number one so and the 24 7 champion in now i'm happy dana's getting some screen time but at the same time I just this 24-7 title it just it it was meant to be a comedy title but I just don't like the way that they're presenting well hell it's WWE I'm not I'm not happy how they present a lot of things but well and there goes Zelina
This might just be the end of the road for her here, guys. Well, the good news for her is that it appears it's going to be over shortly. Realistically here, I'd like to see Bel Air go up, but it's all about a late number in this game. Alright, so we're almost halfway through the women's rumble here, so Naomi at 12. I wish there was some way like I hope that this sets up in uh, 2k22 where you can set up your affiliate like your enemy Like if you have a specific enemy in your in your uh, story mode that you want to make sure you face off well, I can see Sonya and Naomi, at least they met up acquaintances right now. And Charlotte in a 13. Yeah, she's supposed to be in the... That's right, Charlotte's going in the Rumble match, I forgot. So she can have her... Uh, this is going to work out perfect. Charlotte and Ronda are going to be the final two, and uh, Ronda's going to eliminate Charlotte, set up that match for uh, Mania. There you go. Simple booking right there. And here's a lady that who's been saying that she's been ready to go for weeks now. Asuka. They've downright said they just haven't had anything, anything for her from, from creative. Which. Whoa, Baszler's out. Bianca's out. Asuka cleaning house. She comes in and like four or five people get eliminated. Oh, this this could be a hell of a match to watch. German suplex by Oscar there. NXT Women's Championship. But Bailey had no intention of leaving Dallas without her most prized possession. She always wanted to prevail, not just for her, but for I forget this is way back early when Oscar was just starting out. Hoping she wasn't going to lose that title. But then she met Oscar. Boo hoo. I love this commentary. I wish I would have just shut it off earlier. My bad. That's the other person I really think is going to show up in this rumble. Is uh, Bailey. Ronda, Bailey, and Paige should be the three that uh, are probably going to be the big surprises that are going to show up here in the last half of the rumble. Could you imagine the Bailey buddy showing up at number two? All right, uh, thanks, Adam. I do appreciate you do to stop and by here tonight. I hope you're feeling better, and I hope that everything that's going on is uh, okay for you. I know life isn't the best at times, and. Hell, I'm a living example of that right now, and I just hope that everything's going well for you, sir. Thank you for the sub, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side here. I'll be on tomorrow afternoon, probably late afternoon, with Streets of Rage 4, so. And then maybe Saturday during the day before the Rumble, I might pop on for a little while. But you take care, and I'm sure we'll chat to you sooner than later. And Sasha in there with a late number right now. I think it's 17 or something. Sorry, just a little behind here catching up with the chat. Gladiator, wow. Seven. Oh, that song. When that song comes up on the on the rumble. Uh, on Saturday, 
I hope the speakers blow so they never never play it ever again. Jesus. Wow, Charlotte's out. All right, that that makes sense. Now here's somebody that got railroaded the way that she shouldn't have been. Rhea Ripley. Like that match against Charlotte Flair at Mania, she she definitely should have won that one. It was such a stupid booking decision. Just to get a, a little pop for NXT. And where we got here. Oh, here we go. One of my surprises for Saturday. Sasha taking control of there. The Bailey hitting Sasha. That's not going to be good for their friendship. Could be trouble here, guys. Naomi with those headbutts. I do have to give credit to the WWE women's division. They're making the best of what they have. But unfortunately, they just don't have a lot left in their product. Oh, Ripley's out. Tamina's out. Naomi might run the gauntlet. Oh. Sasha's out. Wow. There goes Asuka. Alexa could be a very interesting pick here. Flying head scissors. Well, we still got 10 more yet, so this is shaping up to be a rousy win. Here you go. Could you imagine the pop if this this song put plays? If they seriously get Paige into this match up here, she's dying to get into the ring. She thinks she should be cleared. Whether WWE has or hasn't, we don't know. Let's face it, what if WWE just did, wanted to pop it as a surprise, right? Oh, and here we go. The, the Impact Women's Champion. I sure as hell hope they use Hardcore Country for her entrance. Could you imagine the pop if uh, they actually used the TNA music or the Impact Wrestling music? Which there wouldn't be a problem with because James owns it, right? It's not like uh, it's not like you have to talk to Impact Wrestling to get the music. And Bailey's out. Holy crap. Mickey's all over it here right now. Zaya Brookside from NXT UK. One of the youngest people on the women's roster. Be great seeing her. It would be great to see some UK talent show up on the Rumble this weekend. And not just Gunther. Well, I got a feel there's one person that's in this rumble that I, I think might actually have a real good chance of winning here. That, that comes straight out of NXT 2.0. We haven't seen her yet. No, we got another NXT UK person here, Ginny. Who actually, I believe, is the arch rival of Zaya right now. Honestly, the best part about WWE right now might be watching NXT UK. 
It's an hour. The wrestling's consistent. Everything makes sense. There's one women's, one men's, one tag match. And it's just solid, solid old fashioned storytelling. It's actually amazing that the guy that used to run Progress, uh, I believe is one of the head writers there. Here it is. Here's my, here's the one I was talking about from NXT 2.0. That's Kaylee Ray. Like right now she is the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. But I think she could be put into, uh, put into the title into the main title picture here her and charlotte could have a banger of a match here nxt 205 live are both good absolutely like for what they have left and what they've been given i i love both those shows and here's the one that i think is going to win it easily here my hell she might even win it on uh she might win in this sim as well but But Rousey just, oh my goodness. Oh, and there goes Mickey James. Zaya Brookside eliminates Mickey James. Carmella with a late number. Misses Corey Graves. One half of the uh, WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, which another title nobody remembers because it's been defended once forever because they don't have enough women to cover it. Ugh, talk about frustration. Well, Ka Kaylee Ray and Z Zaya Brookside, they got a feud from before. Like Ka Kaylee Ray is so good. I, for, there's been such a long time that I missed out because I thought she was similar to a, similar to Kylie Ray. I thought they were like the same person. I just screwed up. The, whoa. Ginny's out. Now they're both working over Zaya Brookside, which is actually pretty smart. Get rid of the young one. We're finally going to get a little bit more filler here. Alicia Fox at 28. Honestly, I don't think Fox is going to show up, mainly for the last time that she showed up. She got... Uh, wasn't she the one that was drunk in the ring that Arn Anderson got fired about. Allegedly, of course. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. All right, what we got for 29 here? Nikki. Could you imagine Nikki Bell away the rumble? Oh, she's done one rumble since then? Yeah. Well. I think she did Evolution as well. So, oh, there goes Alicia. All right, here comes 30. Who we got? I, I, I wasn't able to keep track of everybody out here. I loved when you used to fight for number 30. Oh! Natalia with a late number. This actually could be one hell of a choice here. Oh, Nikki Bella's out. All right, here we Ronda and Natty face off. Well, they used to be trading. Wasn't Natty mostly Ronda's training partner in uh, 
but pre-development. Alton Carmella might be eliminated. Zaya Brookside's getting close to being eliminated. This is really a pickup here for everybody who's left here. Outside of, well, maybe Zaya might not be involved in it, but A, one of the rest of them, I think coming come Saturday, you could see each of them get a shot. I don't think Carmelo will get one, but you never know. Rosie's out, oh my God. Natty fired up. Could you imagine Natty at the 30 spot winning it? Oh, there goes Brookside. Bliss might be eliminated here. Bliss is out. We got our final three. Natalia, Kaylee Ray, and Carmella. This is pretty awesome if you ask me. Whoa! Kaylee Ray and Natalia, our final two. Could you imagine? Kaylee Ray could honestly, she could be put over big time by this opportunity. Natalia deserves it, don't get me wrong. But man, this would be a defining moment for both these ladies, whoever would win this. Guaranteed. Are you sure about that? Oh, look out. There's the clothesline. Ah, Natalia wins it. You know what? That would be pretty decent pick. But having Kaylee Ray last to the last two, I'm game with that. Could you imagine Natalia winning and then taking on, well, You have a rematch of SummerSlam 2016, or you have uh, Becky taking on uh, Natalia in a first time match. Would be interesting. Honestly, if you want to go for the fanfare the way they did back in NXT, I would, I'd go the Charlotte way, to be honest. Check out the highlight reel. You got that big neck breaker by Ronda. Then the elimination of Ronda. That was big. That was really big. And then, yeah, just setting up. Setting up for the end here. Kaylee Ray in the end with Natalia. Then setting up. There's the clothesline takes Kaylee Ray out. And your winner, Natalia Neidhart going on to... Uh, Good old WrestleMania. Oh, I don't want to do that. There we go. And exit. All right. All right, that was a hell of a match. And yeah, that I got a feeling the rumble this Saturday is going to be really unpredictable, if you ask me. Let me just bring it back up here to... Bring it up to a chat screen here. Yeah, we'll go there. Yeah, the Rumble this Saturday is going to be a hell, of a, a hell of a night. You know what? As much as we crap on the product as a whole week to week, the Raw Rumble always produces its own gold, right? It's not something that... Uh, it's not something we have to worry about 
producing pretty much a dud throughout. We're going to get some quiet spots, of course. But the Royal Rumble matches, they always come up with some return or some some debut that's going to blow you away. Whether it's Tommaso Ciampa, Pete Dunne, LA Knight in the men's, whether it's Bailey, whether it's uh, a return of Mandy Rose, always a big moment, yeah. Like, there's always some kind of big moment during these pay-per-views. As well as in the matches before them, there's always that unsung moment. Like, I've, I've made obvious my favorite match ever in WWE comes from the Royal Rumble 2003, Kurt Angle, Chris Benoit. For me, that is the perfect storytelling match there, how you get somebody over into the next level. How Kurt Angle put Chris Benoit into that upper echelon. So for me, it was the Royal Rumble is always something special one way or the other. There's always something special that comes out of it. 